Welcome back. July is a great month for seniors. There's a group that work all year long for a particular kind of a spread over time event called the Washington State Senior Games. And it primarily happens in July. And I have Jack Kiley, my good friend, who is the president of the Washington State Senior Games. Welcome, Jack. Hi, Eileen. It's nice to be back again. It is nice to have you back again. Tell, well, let's assume somebody might not know about the senior games. Talk a little bit about I it. can't believe that. I, I don't want be to believe that. It would be hard to believe, but. The Washington State Senior Games is an athletic competition for senior men and women, 50 and over, who uh, get together primarily at near the end of July. We offer 23 different sports. They come together from all over the Northwest and they compete against each other in five-year age grouping so that so that uh, similar age people compete against their own peers mm -hmm. and uh, what it does is 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 relive a lot of uh, relationships that that, uh, that that are factored in once a year and they come come forward they see how they're doing and uh, and they and the camaraderie and and competition is terrific mm -hmm. now some people have been athletes for a while. I know when I volunteered at the high jump that some of the people that are jumping had jumped in high school or college and they maybe didn't jump for a while and now are back at it. But other people are kind of just getting off the couch for the first time and doing something like our friend Diana Yu who kind of got into the senior games later in life. We try to offer events and activities that appeal to both. We certainly do have the men and women that, that really have played basketball, that have swum, they have uh, uh, been track and field since high school and college, and, and maybe they've kept with it and maybe they haven't for a while. Then they, they uh, understand something about the games, decide to come back and compete. But then we're also interested in, in getting a lot of that senior community that is more interested in switching channels than, uh, than uh, exercising and trying to get them off the couch and maybe thinking back to something they did a long time ago. And, uh, and with 23 sports, they can pretty much find something that they would like. Yeah. Well, what you mentioned a few of them, swimming, um, basketball. What are some of the other sports? That... Well, I could take an hour and go through all of them. <laughs> but, but we have everything from archery to bowling to uh, ballroom dance to softball to tennis to volleyball. And we have a new event this year that is, is unique to us. Um, and that's rugby. Ooh. Um, a pretty rugged sport, and for that we are allowing uh, senior men and, men and women and both, both senior men and women teams to compete at age 40 and over. Uh -huh. uh, and we're going to see how this goes, but we're excited at, uh, at the prospect of adding rugby to that the senior exciting. games. That is exciting. Trendsetters, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> if they don't kill each other out there. Rugby is a tough game. Tough right. sport. So, I know there's one particular weekend that we really concentrate a lot of the events around. And what weekend is that this yeah, year? Yeah, that's the 24th, the 25th, and 26th of July. Okay. A few events on that Friday, but most events on the 25th on Saturday, and we follow up with a significant number of, of different sports on Sunday. But what that allows is that if you're in track and field on Saturday, you can also be a cyclist on Sunday, or you can swim on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So the games really allow uh, uh, competitors to participate in as many different sports as time and and uh, and locations uh, allow. Right. And where are the track and field events this year? Track and field is the fundamental event of of, uh, of what we offer, and that's it always in recent years been at Tumwater High School. Mm -hmm. So if people just kind of wanted to see what it was all about before they dove in and maybe considered a sport, they could come by and watch the events. And, and that's the right place to do that. We have a big, uh, a big grandstand, a place to, uh, to watch, and a lot of things are going on. We, you know, a lot of track events, a lot of field events. Mm -hmm. 16 different track and field events are going on beginning at 8.45 in the morning and running through early afternoon. So it'd be a great way to introduce yourself to and to see some fabulous performances by, uh, by men and women 15 over, some in their 90s, mm -hmm. in fact. Wow. And how about if somebody thought, oh, that sounds interesting. I'd like to support that. Maybe I'm not old enough to be in an event. Could I volunteer? And, and if you go to our website, 
uh, Washington State Senior Games .com, one word, uh, and uh, and my name and information is there. Uh, contact me, and we'll certainly uh, uh, get you situated as a competitor, as a volunteer, as an official, in some capacity where you can enjoy the games. Okay. So you brought a little videotape that was done after, was it last year's games? Yeah, last year, unbeknownst to us, a Seattle public TV channel came down, from, uh, from obviously from Seattle, and, and uh, produced a six-minute uh, video that does an excellent job in reflecting what the Senior Games is all about. Okay, well, let's watch that right now. Good. Welcome to the Washington State Senior Games, a yearly event for athletes where age is just a number. I'm up to where I was in high school. Six events. I'm 82. 95 to 99 men's discus, George Roswell, first place. We have several hundred year olds that compete actually, um, but our oldest is was a 102 year old golfer. Track and field, swimming, bowling, and more. The 50 plus crowd shows up to test their medal and perhaps win one too. We have 19 sports and we have sports, the same sports are for male and female. It's for health and wellness. It's all about living a healthy, active lifestyle. <laughs> My name is Eddie Ortiz Hernandez. I'm 66 years old. Eddie grew up in a New York ghetto where he got into lots of trouble. Reform school did more than just straighten him out. I was there from the age of nine through 13. And that's where I started competing in sports and I was hooked. For years, Eddie's been a star competitor, winning dozens of medals nationally in track and field. These are all my gold medals from the Puget Sound Senior Games, Woo. Washington State Senior Games. That's impressive. First, first places, and some of these are also from the, uh, from the games, Puget Sound Senior Games, and the Oregon where I took some gold medals also. This year, though, will be Eddie's big comeback after years off due to injury and back surgery. So this year I'm just cutting it down to shorter sprints, and I don't know how much of speed I have left, but the 50 and the 100 and the 200. So. Uh, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm training and I'm just going to give it my best. A big part of our, our participants are people who've, who've exercised all their life. But the people we want to address are, are those who are on the couch. That would be participants like 60 year old Diana Yu, once a classic couch potato. Yeah, unfortunately, my favorite pastime at that time was channel surfing. Diana says she was the typical sedentary, overstressed physician who told her patients to exercise and eat well, but ignored her own advice until her brother had a heart attack. I said, oh, whoa, you know, bad genes. Um, I'm round and I'm not physically active and I'm way, I'm, I was obese and, uh, and it was time to kind of wake up and do something about it. Diana got moving with Zumba classes, and soon she became an instructor. Use your arms to balance. Getting physical is what led her to the senior games. This year, Diana will compete in bowling and the new sport of power walking. And I'm going to have a personal best because it's my first time doing it. <laughs> the senior games launch with a torch ceremony, Eddie sharing the honor of carrying in the flame. Then, it's off to the races. Athletes compete against peers in age brackets of five years. That means a 95-year-old won't be competing against someone who's 52. I don't think there's anybody else in my age group this year. Swimmer Evelyn Hoffman is 96. I'm here for my 12th try at the game. I have been a gold medal winner in both the swimming and the dance. 
Evelyn proudly medals. Good job, Evelyn. And so does 85-year-old Keith Wood. I'm doing seven, seven running races. I don't expect a record on the 50 or the 100. I had to get a record on the, on the uh, 10K because no 85-year-old's ever run the 10K before. Ah, getting up here, that's the problem. Here we go again. Okay. Now Eddie's coming to the starting line. His first race, the 50-meter dash. What happened there? Uh, I think I, I think I pulled the hip flexor. I don't know. I, I tried my best. I think I still have a lot of work to do, but, but I'm back. There's always next year. There's always next year. I'll be back. I'll be back. Diana just missed the podium, coming in at fourth place but she finished two minutes under her expected time. This is great, I'm gonna do it again next year. Beat my own time. After the torch is extinguished and the sore muscles heal, the lasting sparkle won't be the medals, but the camaraderie and the knowledge that age need never stop achieving. It's a good feeling, it's a good feeling. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcast anytime at seattlechannel.org. Wow, that really did show the, the real spirit of the games. It, it really does. For some, A couple of board members were featured in that, Eddie Ortiz uh, and Diana Yu. Uh, Eddie had been a long-term uh, competitor, but is having some physical problems that he's trying to overcome. Diana is just getting involved uh, as the former medical officer of Thurston County, and um, she's uh, into into power walking and now into Zumba. All well, that's not one of our one of our events, but she's decided to that uh, she's given a lot of advice on being healthy. Now she's taking taking cognizant of it herself and yeah. uh, and becoming a real spirited competitor. Yeah, it's a wonderful wonderful. They they really captured it. That was great. So there's also a dinner for the athletes, but it's open to other people in the community on that Saturday night, I understand. Saturday night we have what's called an athlete celebration dinner. And basically we're, we're appealing to a broad uh, segment of the competitors to come with their family and friends, but it is open to the general South Sound community. And we're uh, excited this year because one of my main challenges every year is to find a speaker and so we put out numerous calls and, uh, and, and we hadn't heard anything and then all of a sudden we got two responses. One from Jim Whitaker, conqueror of Mount oh, Everest wow. in 1963, who mm -hmm. lives in Port Townsend, who will be our main speaker at the Wonderful. dinner. And then, all, and then also a gentleman from Lake Stevens, north of Seattle, named Bill Ifrig, a name that might not be familiar to many people. But he was the gentleman on the cover of Sports Illustrated at the 200, 2013 Boston Marathon. Oh my gosh. When the bombs went off and he was, he, he, he fell to the ground and, uh, and had that uh, iconic photograph in Sports Illustrated. And he's a senior and a marathon runner. And, and important to us, he's going to run in the 10K race that oh, we great. have. He's one of the best uh, 80 year old runners in the country. He's wow. an elite master runner. So, uh -huh. so we're looking forward to both of their oh, yeah. uh, presentations and exploits. That's right. And if, so if somebody wanted to come to the dinner, can they connect with you and find out how to do that? If they want to call 413-0148, uh, uh -huh. that's our registration person, Diana Foster, and her family uh, is involved in answering the phone and participating, and they can make dinner reservations if they're not already involved in registering for the games. Okay, well, great. Well, Jack, thank you for all that you do. You are Mr. Washington State Senior Games. You really are, you've kept it going, you've built it into the incredible event that it is. And on behalf of the seniors, thank you very much. Well, thank you, it's a real, I get an awful lot 
out of this, witness my, my long tenure, <laughs> but uh, when you see what they can do, it, uh, it's terribly rewarding. Yeah, well, you do a great job. Thank you, and thanks, and my thanks back to all of the board of directors. Thank you. Okay, so we will be right back in just a minute, so stay tuned. <laughs>